the concept of, of, of Omoluabi, which the state has always been known for, has eroded by so much degradation in the state. Governance is no longer about accountability about, and about transparency. I believe he's done the best he could to the best of his ability. However, based on the happenings in the state from what we are witnessing and for what the people are saying, most especially the issue of non-payment of salaries. Everywhere you go in the state, people complain about being paid half salary and when the half salary that was agreed to was not even been, the payment is not even being adhered to. People talk about the quality of the infrastructure that is provided, roads that will be constructed and within a short period, you know, the road is now becoming defective. People are talking about, you know, the way religion is now playing an important role in the way things are done, which never existed before. So for me, I call it constructive criticisms. Um, but I believe that with the way things are going, if it is not checked, that could be serious problems for the good people of Washington State. Well, it's, uh, it's all based on the polls of the people with respect to the opinion researches that we carried out and the findings. The two major issues are the issues of um, high public debt burden and um, the issue of non-payment of salaries, gratuities, pensions, and also the issue of about the quality of projects that have been executed and most importantly the economy of the state if a state that has the civil service being the highest or largest you know um, body that employs labor and this institution is not paying salaries as at when due what then happens? It affects the market. The market men and women will not be able to sell their products or their goods. Um, and it goes, extends to the agriculture as well. The farmers, you know, their produce will not be procured, will not be bought, you know, and there'll be so much wastages. I've gone around the states and I've witnessed, especially, you know, the farmer that grows plantain it's complaining bitterly because the people that normally buy from ikiri for the dodo ikiri the dodo ikiri sellers are even complaining about reduction in the sales they are experiencing been to a part of ijibo where you see the woman selling a car telling me that the number of a car she sells in one night i should do this geometrically and that goes, the story goes like that across the states. The qualities that we expect from the person that becomes the governor, and I hope and pray to God it will be me, uh, these qualities who, first of all, mean that the person must put the people at the center of development. The person must think the people, the person must sleep the people, the person must work with the people. Every part of that person's body must be relating thoughts about how the lives of the 4.2 million citizens of virtual states, their lives will be better. How the economic situation of the states will be dramatically increased, how there will be first-class human capital development in the states, how the healthcare system will be an healthcare system that the people of the state will be proud of, 
how the environment that the people live in will be very, very secured and protect them from the dangers that is associated with such environment. But most importantly, it is a person that must be able to unleash the vast potentials that are bound in the states. And the first on that list is the human capital, because the state is known as state of Omolua bees. And an Omolua bee person uh, is a person that has uh, the character, you know, that shows you can be able to provide for your family, and then you can be able to call yourself uh, a man or a woman, someone that is able to uh, fend for him, him or herself. And that is the, uh, what, some of the things that are required of someone that should be living in a great state. I want to succeed the incumbent governor because as an architect, we are trained to conceptualize. And I have already gone deep in understanding the issues confronting the state, like I mentioned before. And I have already, I'm already preferring solutions to that. Like I said, these are man-made problems, I require man-made solutions. And that led me to envision a state that is capable of creating wealth for the people of the state in good health and developing a capable workforce for industrialization. A state that is able to fulfill its obligations to the people that will be less dependent on tradition accounts allocation. And that vision is hung on two main development agenda based on the Omoluabi philosophy. And that is economic development and human capital development. I believe if those carefully thought out vision and also development agenda are given the opportunity you know, to be practicalized, which I already conceptualized, which I've already, you know, thought about the details, and I possess, you know, already the roadmap to get it out of the quagma, out of the situation it is currently experiencing. That's why I believe I should succeed um, the current government.